I have this form on my website and I want to fire a lead event when the form is submitted. I will show you how to do it in two different ways. This form is created with a plugin called Forminator. This plugin is one of the plugins we have direct integration with. So in this case, I will just select the plugin name as a trigger, then I will select the form ID and that's it. Um, simply configure the lead event after that. Let me show you. So go to Pixel Your Site. This is Pixel Your Site Professional. This is a pro paid feature. So if you have the free plugin, you need to upgrade to get it. Um, yeah, we have to leave. So uh, go to events, add a new event, give it a name, lead. This is visible just for you. And now select the trigger. As you can see, I have Forminator in the triggers list. I also have Contact Form 7, another plugin that we have direct integration. Uh, we support the most popular uh, WordPress plugins. So chances are that your form is created with one of them. If not, I will show you an alternative way to do the same thing. Now, Forminator, and from here you can select the form ID. I don't know exactly which form um, is on that page, so I select both forms. It's, uh, it's just an example, so you probably want a particular form to fire the lead event. Uh, then I go here, I will enable the event for Facebook, but I can do it for other integrated tags. So in this case, I have multiple pixels installed with Pixel Your Site. I want the event to fire for all the pixels and I will select lead. If I want, I can add parameters and custom parameters, but I don't want to do this. I will just send a, a, a simple lead event to show you how it works. There is another option that I have. Um, I can disable the default form event for these forms. Uh, Pixel Your Site fires a form event for all form on the website. If you want to disable that event and only for the lead event, uh, check uh, enable this option right here. I will not do it. So that's it, save. Very easy. Now, I go back to the page where I have the form. I refresh the page, complete, and send message. Now I have my lead event right here. Uh, it has some default parameters, as you can see. They can help you uh, do custom audiences or custom conversions, but in essence, this is my lead event fire when this form is submitted. And this is important because with the integrated plugins, the event is fired on form submitted, not on button click. But if you don't have um, a plugin that it's already implemented, so if you don't see your uh, pl form plugin in the triggers list, let me remove this. And I will create a new event showing you the alternative way of doing this. So let's add a new event. I will name this lead CSS selector. And in this case, I will select this trigger. Click on CSS selector. Now, I have to go and check what classes or IDs this button has. Click, right click, inspect, and these are the classes. Chances are that you can add your custom ID or custom class. Most form plugins, plugins have such a feature, so I this is the best approach. But in my case, I just want to um, give you a quick example. Copy, this is a class, so we will need a dot in front of it and paste the class. Everything else works the same. All pixels, again, a lead event, no parameters. I can enable this feature that will fire the event only once in 24 hours. And in fact, it's a good uh, feature to have because sometimes uh, a user will click the form multiple times because they have errors and you, you don't want to trigger multiple events for the same user. So I recommend you enable this and save. 
Now, let's refresh the form. Okay. And submit the form. We already have the lead event. The difference here is that the event using this trigger, click on CSS selector, is fired when the button is clicked, not when the form is submitted. So ideally, if you have a plugin that is supported, it's integrated by Pixel Your Site Professional, you should use that trigger, the form plugin trigger and select the form ID. If you have a form implemented by something else, this is the option that you have, uh, use the click on CSS selector. That's it, very easy. I'm Christian Stoichescu from Pixel Your Site. Like, share and subscribe, it will really help. Thank you.